All right, now one of the things I want to talk about real quick is the effect that steroids have on cortisol because it explains a lot about why you lose your muscle when you come off the steroids. Now when you're on steroids, cortisol can't do its job properly at the muscle site because androgens use most of the second messengers, which sends the signal to the nucleus of the muscle cell, and there's not enough left for cortisol to do its job properly. As a result, the body starts to produce more cortisol, which can slow down your progress even if you're on steroids, although not that much since they inhibit the action of cortisol in the first place. The body will increase the sensitivity of the glucocorticoid receptors, so you respond more strongly to cortisol. When that happens, the steroids stop working unless you increase the dose, and the body will increase the number of glucocorticoid receptors. So you're left with a body that is super sensitive to cortisol and an overactive cortisol system. It's no wonder people lose their muscle when they come off the steroids. Now, if your cortisol system is not overactive when you come off, you can maintain most of what you got. But if cortisol is higher, you're going to lose some of what you got. If glucocorticoid receptor sensitivity is greater, you're going to lose most of what you got. And if you've increased the number of glucocorticoid receptors, not only will you lose almost all of what you got, but it will be extremely hard to gain any muscle naturally ever again.